Hi, I'm Stu from Hive Mind Automation and welcome back to The Hive. In this quick tips video, we're going to be taking a look at tracking parcels in Home Assistant using a service called 17Track. And I'm going to try to get it done in less than 10 minutes. So while I roll the intro, take a moment to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos each week and let's get started. So if, like me, you've been ordering a lot more stuff online during lockdown, you've probably wished for a better way to track your parcels. Well, we're going to introduce you to 17Track, a parcel tracking aggregation service which we can nicely integrate with Home Assistant. Now, I'm not in any way affiliated with 17Track, I just happen to use their service for tracking my own parcels and I choose them because they cover over 700 carriers worldwide and they've got a Home Assistant integration. Now, first things first, you're going to need a 17Track account and if you don't already have one, you can head over to their website and sign up. The service is free to track up to 40 parcels and if you click on the sign up for free and follow the instructions to register an account uh, and I'll be sure to put the link in the description down below. Now I obviously already have an account so I'm just going to log in using my credentials and I'll click log in. So once you're logged in the second thing you're going to need is some parcels to track. Now because of 17 tracks support for over 700 carriers, this can be pretty much uh, from any carrier and any uh, supplier. Uh, so we'll head over to the parcel tracking dashboard uh, and most of my parcels here, like as you can see, I've already added a bunch. Most of my parcels are either from Australia Post or China Post uh, and I've already added those in here. Uh, but adding new parcels is pretty easy. Uh, you click the plus button in the top right hand corner and you paste in your tracking ID, one per line. And I'll just pop this one in here. Uh, and now I've put that in there, I'll click add. Uh, you can add multiples at one time. And so now that that one is in there, where is it? It's this last one. It's just tracking it. Uh, it's got uh, not found, but it's got the Australia Post. Um, so it may not be properly tracked, but what I'm going to do is add a memo in here. And it's pretty helpful to add a memo in here. And we'll see that a little bit later on when we um, look at the Home Assistant integration. Now normally it will automatically figure out the carrier, but sometimes you may need to manually select that. Uh, so this one I'm putting in iHerb because that is where it has been ordered from. Uh, and I'll click that tick box. Okay, so once we've got our account and some tracked parcels, it's time now to add the 17 track integration into Home Assistant. To do that, we're going to need to open up our Visual Studio Code Editor. And I want to be in the configuration.yaml file. Now what I want to do here is I want to find our sensor domain where we've added other sensors in the past uh, and I'm going to add a new sensor platform in here and the platform is 17 track and that's all spelt out and we will indent the two rows and we want to put in our username uh, and we need to put in the username from 17 track what i've done here though is i've added this to my uh, secret i've added this to my secrets.yaml file already and it is under 17 track email and we also need to put in our password uh, and we've got secret 17 track pass. So that is all we really need in here. And that's because I've added those details into my secrets.yaml file uh, so that I don't need to put them in plain text on screen here. Now, before we go ahead and uh, restart Home Assistant to integrate this, I want to be able to visualize the data from this integration in a nice way on my Home Assistant dashboard. Now, because parcel tracking is going to change pretty frequently, it's going to be pretty annoying to have 
have to modify the Lovelace dashboard every time we add or remove a parcel from our 17 track account. So we really need a better way to do that. And that better way comes in the form of a custom Lovelace component from Hacks called Auto Entities. And so I'm going to head over to Hacks and go to Front End. Uh, and I'm just going to click on the three dot stack and dismiss all new repositories just to tidy that up here. And I'm going to click on explore and add repositories or the Lovelace card that I'm looking for is called auto entities. So it's this one here to automatically populate the entities list of Lovelace cards. So I'm going to click on that and install this repository in hacks and click install. And what this is going to let us do is just auto populate uh, our Lovelace card on the dashboard uh, based on some rules that we set. So now that we have auto entities uh, installed, added our integration details, we're going to head over to our configuration and our server controls. We're going to check our configuration because we've modified the configuration.yaml file and we're going to restart Home Assistant Core. And when we come back, we will configure that auto entity card. Okay, so I just got the alert that Home Assistant had finished restarting. Uh, and so now that Home Assistant has restarted, what we can do is we can head over to Configuration and Lovelace Dashboards and we can just check in our Resources tab um, that we've got our Auto Entities in here and uh, sometimes it's just good to click on it and click Update uh, so that we know that the resource is loaded and ready to go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back over to Overview because uh, we're going to take a look at the stuff that the 17 track uh, integration has added before we use the Auto Entities card. So I'm just going to um, hit Command F on my Mac here and I'm going to search for 17 track. And we can see uh, we've got all these 17 track packages and then uh, the number of delivered, the number of expired, number of in transit, number not found, etc, etc. So we've got details from the 17 track integration there. Now that's all well and good, but it's a little bit messy and a little bit hard to find. So what we're going to do is use that new auto entities card. So over on our demo dashboard, I'm going to click on the three dot stack and click edit dashboard. I'm going to add a card and in the card picker, I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom and select this auto entities custom card. There's three tabs in here. We've got filters, sorting and card. So I'm going to add a filter group uh, and I'm going to select in this drop down name and I'm going to type into the name 17 track package colon and then a space and then a star because that is the format that it's going to take and if I click out of there we'll see immediately all of our 17 track packages show up in the right hand side here. We can also, in the sorting tab here, select different methods for sorting. Now, uh, one that might be useful is something like last updated or maybe last changed, uh, but I tend to leave this at none. And the last thing that we'll do here on the card tab here in the title, I'm going to put in package tracking. Uh, just so that A, we can actually kind of see what this is for, uh, but also if there are no packages being tracked, uh, this will still display something and not look really quite odd. We can also manually add entities in here, but um, we don't have to at all. Uh, it's uh, purely optional. I'm going to tap save on there and we should then have a nice package tracking card in our Lovelace integration. And you might notice that the labels on the entities here, so we've got 17 track package core electronics, for example, those are corresponding to the memos that we added into the 17 track web interface. And there's also an iPhone app as well. Uh, and this is why I suggested that you add those memos 
so you can get some idea of what this tracking data is associated with rather than just seeing a list of your tracking numbers which um, might be a little bit difficult to figure out what is actually going on. Now, uh, what we can also do here is drill down into the package and then we've got this attributes that is behind this exposure triangle here. You can see some details about the parcel such as the origin country, uh, the timestamp of the last scanning event and uh, some other bits and pieces in there as well. So that is how we can integrate 17 track and track parcels using Home Assistant. That's all we have for this video and I do hope that it helped you in your home automation journey. Be sure to comment down below with a home automation idea you'd like to see me cover in a future video and if you'll be using Home Assistant to track your parcel shipments from now on. Don't forget to follow HiveMind Automation on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. Those links are in the video description. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down below to give it a like. If you're not already subscribed, please think about subscribing now and while you're at it, you might as well hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos each week. Lastly, if you enjoy what I do here and you want to help to support the channel, there is a buy me a coffee link in the video description down below. Contributions through buy me a coffee are put towards making more and better content for you to enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Stu from Hive Mind Automation and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.